वेलकम टू अवर चैनल दिस इज अबकस चाइल्ड लर्निंग एप्लीकेशन हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर स्टार्ट लर्निंग अबाउट मल्टीप्लिकेशन बिफोर स्टार्ट लेट्स सी सम बेसिक टिप्स फॉर मल्टीप्लिकेशन टू परफॉर्म मल्टीप्लिकेशन यू हैव टू मेमोराइज द टाइम टेबल और ग्रेजुअली रिमेंबर इट वाइल प्रैक्टिसिंग द मल्टीप्लिकेशन When perform multiplication, always multiply digits on leftmost rod first. Here is times table from one to ten. Let's see one important rule of multiplication. If we multiply one digit to one digit, then answer should be two digit. That means if total number is two, then answer is in two digit. For example, six two ja twelve. Here twelve is in two digit. Another one, seven four is twenty eight. Here twenty eight also in two digit. If we multiply two digits to one digit, then answer should be in three digit. For example, twenty six multiply four equal to one hundred four. Here one hundred four is in three digit. Same as thirty six multiply four. Equal to one hundred forty-four. Here, one hundred forty-four is also in three digit. That means, if total number is two, then answer is in two digit. If total number is three, then answer is in three digit. And total number is four, then answer is in four digit, and so on. Now, if we multiply one digit to one digit, an answer is in single digit. Then, okay. For example. Three two ja six, but it's not correct. Correct one is zero six. Same three three ja nine. So nine is not correct. Correct one is zero nine. So here we added zero as prefix. This rule we say zero rule of abacus. Now if we multiply two digit to one digit, an answer is in two digit. Then also we added zero in prefix because. Answer should be in three digit. For example, twelve multiply four equal to forty eight. But forty eight is not correct. Correct one is zero forty eight. That means zero four eight, and it is in three digit. Let's see some example so we get better idea of multiplication. So first, I will take two digit to one digit multiplication. The so total three digit I will take and start multiply. Randomly I will take forty two multiply three. Okay, now we will multiplying on abacus. Here we have total three numbers one, two, and three. So answer also in three digit. Here we have to use first three rods ones, tens, and hundreds rods. One more time I will tell you. We have total three numbers, so we'll take these three rods from right side. First, we multiply four three ja twelve. So set twelve from the hundreds rod. So here we have to set one on hundreds rod and set two on tens rod. Now we will multiply two three ja six or three two ja six. Here six is in single digit, so. We have to apply zero rule. Zero rule state that whenever you get single digit number in beginning up and zero. Now six is zero six. So for zero six here we will see last two rods tens and ones rods. So let's set zero six from the tens rod. Here zero is no value, so we don't need to do anything on tens rod. Yeah. So for six on one rod, move one bead to top from bottom and move top bead to downward. Here we got the answer, and answer is one hundred twenty-six. I hope you understood, guys. Why zero rule is important. Now moving next example. So before start, let's reset abacus. Let's try. To multiply thirty-eight, multiply two. Here is also total three numbers, so answer should be in 
three digit right so here we are using these three rods for calculation ones tens and hundreds rods let's do first step three two ja six here is the table of two we have to memorize one to nine table during the calculation now six is a single digit number so remember when we get single digit number answer we have to apply zero rule zero rule state that whenever you get single digit number in beginning append zero now six is zero six now we all know that we have to place zero six from the hundreds rod here zero is no value so we don't need to do anything on hundreds rod yay so for six on tens rod move one bit to top from bottom and move top bit to downward here we have 60 now second step is 8 to ja 16 here only this two number multiplication remain and answer is in two digit for this so here one and tens rod be using for multiply so here we have to place 16 from the tens rod so for 16 set 1 on tens rod and set 6 on ones rod here we got the answer and answer is 76 so here we see how zero rule is important in multiplication and we have to memorize timetables from 1 to 9 Thanks for watching the video. In next video, we will see the example of 2 by 2 digit multiplication. For practice of Abacus, download the application from Google Play Store. Link is available in description. Subscribe the channel to get alert for upcoming video. Thank you.